aphrodisiacs it's me Khadija so if you're new to my channel then please hit that subscribe button and join the family and if you're already subscribed then welcome back okay you guys so even though I previously recorded this video and I just now realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in so I have to refilm this I am still excited to share with you all some new products that I tried from a different brand so the brand is curl origin and if you guys did not know curl origin is actually the sister brand to she sent it so i know i've been trying a lot of she sent it products lately but i've had an opportunity to try out curl origin i do see some similarities but i also see differences i partnered up with curl origin and tried out two different collections they sent me most products from their everyday essentials collection and then two products from their what is it the honey and hibiscus collection so i'm gonna just go in the order that i use the products and talk about them one by one and also add some clips as i go so, going into the first product i always like to do a pre-poo because i have high porosity hair that is really prone to tangles so i use coconut oil on my hair and then i use like a hair growth oil on my scalp i did it for an hour rinsed that out and then i went in with the curl origin honey and hibiscus balancing shampoo so this shampoo claims to be a gentle cleansing shampoo that is going to remove excess oils and product buildup now with me like rebraiding my hair throughout the week now i definitely use more product than what i used to so i really do need a shampoo that's going to be Good at cleansing my hair and my scalp and this one definitely is what i've noticed about she scented shampoos and now with this curl origin shampoo that i tried is that they are a bit more on the clarifying side they have nice lather the lather feels moisturizing and all but once you rinse it out you feel like you just kind of did a thorough cleanse which is good to give your hair that like clean slate for your deep conditioner and for styling i don't really agree with the description here that it's like a gentle cleansing shampoo to me it does feel a bit more clarifying i do want to mention though that i always do two lathers with my shampoos like no matter which one it is so that could also be a thing maybe with their shampoos they're just so good at what they do that you don't need to use them twice maybe just doing one lather it might be better right, so going on to the next product that i use which is actually one of my favorites from this collection it really blew me away Although I was a little bit worried because when I read the name of the product, it's called the Double Moisture Overnight Mask. And I was just wondering, like, can I use this for less time than overnight? And it does say that you can leave it on for up to an hour or up to overnight. So I left it in for 15 minutes. I just did it like how I normally deep condition. And I really, really enjoyed this. It says this deep conditioning treatment helps to restore hair's natural vibrancy it penetrates the hair cortex to mend damage from roots to ends it delivers intense moisture to hair which i agree it's infused with coconut oil raw honey and kukui seed oil to restore elasticity and it leaves hair with lasting softness shine and hydration and also a little fun fact that they put here it says over 90 percent more moisture after just one use this deep conditioner you guys has a much thicker consistency than she sent it deep conditioners that i tried so that's sort of a difference i noticed like she sent it deep conditioners are thinner they're a bit more lighter they're still moisturizing but they're just lighter in consistency with this one it's creamy okay and if i go like this it's not coming out <laughs> so it has some weight to it it's very creamy uh the scent on this everyday essentials collection smells so so good when i put this on my strands like it just immediately melted in detangling was a breeze it defined my curls and like clumped them too i just love the application process this applied like a dream and i was really glad to use something a bit more creamy because during this time of the year especially in new york where i am it gets so dry like it gets so cold and so dry and I just like to use a thicker deep conditioner like that just makes me feel better so I do see myself using this a lot during the winter time and I feel like if your hair is like mine and it needs ultra moisture then you would probably really really enjoy this product the thing that I used was the curl hydrating leave-in conditioner and this is a huge bottle of leave-in conditioner it's 13 fluid ounces now this one says that it helps to prevent breakage it detangles conditions softens, smooths 
bites, frizz, and enhances shine. So it has a lot of claims. It's enriched with hibiscus extract and chamomile to nourish and condition hair. It also has shea butter, which adds moisture and smooths the hair's cuticles. And it helps your hair retain optimum hydration while improving the appearance of dry hair, as a leave-in conditioner should. <laughs> so this leave-in conditioner, it did its job. It was very moisturizing. I was able to finger detangle, get through my hair. My curls were defined. Like, yes, all the claims I do agree with. It also has silk peptides, which silk is like strengthening, but it's at the very bottom of the ingredients list, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. It does have glycerin in the middle of the ingredients list, not within the first five. But, you know, I try to avoid glycerin, so I was kind of skeptical about using a leave-in conditioner with glycerin because I just try to avoid glycerin in particular as much as possible so that was interesting to me like how my hair would actually turn out but as far as how this leave-in conditioner performed like going with the claims i do agree and i really like the application process for this leave-in okay, conditioner so after that i went in with this triple butter moisturizing curl cream and it can be used as a moisturizer and also a styler it says you can use it for twists and braids the consistency on this, it's not light, but it's not heavy either. You guys know for my creams, I like a heavy cream. I do. This one is like in the middle, okay? If I go like this, it's not really coming out, but it's not like a buttercream, you know? When I use this, I can definitely feel that it was adding to what the leave-in conditioner gave, and that's always good, right? Especially if you're using a lightweight leave-in conditioner, you want for your cream to like add more moisture and like smooth your cuticle further and just add more. And that's exactly what I got from this. This says that it's ultra moisturizing. It has argan oil, avocado butter, and beet sugar extract to deliver optimum hydration while fighting frizz. It completely quenches thirsty curls, reduces breakage, and strengthens strands. And it's emollient rich, which helps give long-lasting moisture. Because I didn't see anything in the ingredients list that would indicate holds, I was like, let me go in with the gel that they sent me so that I can just like make sure that I'm using everything to try to optimize the holds, you know, to actually get my hairstyle to last me a few days. So that's exactly what I did. This is the Curl Enhancing Gel-A. It does say in the description that it is going to hydrate thirsty strands. It helps to form beautiful loops and coils, creating shine and adding moisture and curl definition and that your curls will be hydrated bouncy and defined it felt very moisturizing i didn't necessarily feel like i didn't really feel the hold do you know what i mean like when you use certain gels you can feel like this is actually making my curls more stiff and it's gonna hold this i just felt like it was moisturizing and it's definitely like a hydrating moisturizing gel which is nice i'm not really a gel girl i prefer creams but, you know, it's nice to use a gel that's going to be moisturizing as long as it does give hold. Otherwise, I kind of feel like, what's the point, you know? But maybe if you like to layer on a lot of moisturizing products, including like a moisturizing gel just to get extra moisture, then this might be something that you would appreciate. Basically, my braid out did not last very long. I believe I had to put my hair up in a bun by day two it was still early in the week so i did want to like wear my hair out again i didn't want to keep it in a bun for the remainder of the week so i went in with this other product that they sent me and i've been using this a lot actually so this is the maracuja rich moisture hair milk okay and this one says that it's going to moisturize and strengthen dry and damaged hair it's a lightweight hair milk infused with amla and maracuja extracts to strengthen hair, add shine, and nourish the scalp. It also has marshmallow extract and avocado to give hair hydration, resulting in long-lasting moisture. So your hair will be nourished and stronger, resulting in less breakage and split ends. This saved my hair twice. <laughs> Let me just say that. It saved my hair twice. When I took my hair out of that bun early in the week, I used this to rebraid it. Just this. My hair was moisturized, it felt a little strengthened, it was defined, like the curls held pretty well. And then yesterday was day five here. I put it up again and I knew I wanted to film this video today and I wanted to actually show you guys my hair out. So I used this again to rebraid my hair and these are the results. This is my day six hair. In terms of favorites, like I said, 
the deep conditioner is something that you really need to try this winter I just think it's gonna be great for your hair if it's super dry if you like thicker deep conditioners like more creamy and rich deep conditioners and ones that smell good at that and then as far as like an interesting hair milk 